outstanding linebacker. His talent is unparalleled, but what really makes him stand out is his leadership. His team responds to his no-quit attitude, and they should win big today. Hey, 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 who do you think I'm picking? Buckeyes all the way. Well, that's it for the pregame. Let's get down to the field so we can get this thing started. you guys this kid will get the job done today well expect him to be matched up with a very good receiver throughout the day it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out great coverage and it's intercepted and he probably should never have thrown that ball when your receivers are covered like that sometimes as a quarterback it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw there by the D lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's often. Hampton gets the call. There's a fumble. Grant with a recovery. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there. And back to pass. He steps up. Hit as he throws. And that one's falling to the backfield. Hampton on the run. It's on the ground, and the defense is on it. And a nice recovery there. I'll tell you guys something. Coaches love players that force fumbles and recover the football. Weber goes with a play fake. He looks, swings it right, off his hands, and incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. the first looks like he'll turn it over on down you know what i think they still made the right call there yeah it was worth the gamble even though they didn't make it and they hit him in the backfield defensive back weber drops to throw the ball is tipped that brings up the punting situation i'll tell you what this Play action. Rolling out to the right side. Throws. And he brings it down. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. I thought that one was going to sail high, but he pulled it down. And Brad, the ball is never out of reach if this young man is on the... That's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. Cut. Setting up play action. Looking. Picked off. Tackle at the 41-yard line. And the defense gets their second of the game. Before the game, guys, the coach told me it was very important that his team win the turnover battle. And this interception certainly helps. Well, it doesn't matter how many yards you gain or passes you complete. If you turn the ball over a lot, then you're usually going to lose the game. Gray fakes the handoff. He throws right. Found his man. He's all the way down to the 10-yard line. Interesting call. The defense came with the heat that time. The problem was they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And when you can't quite do something, that means the other guys will probably have a big play. <laughs> and you're right, that pass. He gets it up, and it's good. And up in an eye. On the ground with the tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45. Fakes to the back. He's looking. He flings it. And it's caught. And he hits him hard at the 39. How about that pass, fellas? Well, oh, Brad, the defense is coming with the blitz, and that opens some room for these guys to get open. Line, only one man in the backfield. Pitch out. And they make the stop at the 26. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this deep. The kick is up. And it splits the uprights. 
He looked pretty good kicking the ball there. Yep, the kicker did a good job of keeping his head down and striking the ball right between the goal posts. Gray, back to pass. Watch the throw screen. Oh, what a move. And they make the stop at the 49. This wide receiver keeps the offense moving in the right direction by breaking the screen pass for a first down. Coach, as you know, quarterbacks love best play in the book when it comes to yards after kick. Again, he'll get the call. He broke his ankles. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Great looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. Can't get much better than that. Nothing stopping the defense from getting sacked there. It's tough for a quarterback to throw the football when he has that kind of rush coming at him. Gray set to go to the air. Gray with a bullet. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33 yard line. Good job to avoid the rush and get the. Gray drops back to pass. And now he's got room to run. Tackle at the 47 yard line. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Drops back to pass. Looking, he fires, and he's hit immediately. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third. Now only throw or scramble for the first. Darts it to the right, and that one's incomplete. Big stop there for the defense. And you can feel a little bit of momentum shift there, Coach. Yep, that was a very crucial turnover on down. Because now Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Minnesota 10, Iowa 3. Cut. Weber drops to throw. He lets it go. His receiver has it. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. Yeah, this quarterback is very good. Cut. Rolling out to the right side. They brought him down for the sack at the 33. Grant with a takedown at the 49-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Cut. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Rolls right. Throws it deep downfield. Got him again. He's all the way down to the 22. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. play action. He's going right. He catches another. He's knocked out of bounds at the four. A good play fake that time. Here the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. And the quarterback did a tremendous job. Plenty of options on this play you guys. Touchdown Iowa! And the halfback took it in for the four. That young man is keeping a valuable member of this squad. And if he keeps running like that, he'll find himself in the end zone. First down, look at the throw. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. It's a tip drill. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. Back to pass. Looking. Down the middle. There's a very impressive open field count. Weber steps back to pass. Let's it fly. Got it to his receiver. Brought down at the. Drops back to pass. He gets the pass away. Knocked down. It's up. And it's right down the middle. Here's the kick. Number four takes it at the four. At the 30. At the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He returns it all the way to score. That was a big time return. Woo! There's the play fake. He looks. Looks like he's going to run. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. 
So that one goes for a decent gain. And guys, his running ability sure makes him hard to stop. No doubt about it, Brad. Winner. Here. Yupu. They'll bring him down at the 50. We played three, and we're locked in a tight one with a score. Iowa, 17. Minnesota, 13. He drops back. He's rolling right. The ball came free. Ballard falls on the fumble. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Throw out there and play hard the next. Play action. Across the middle. Complete. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with a wideout. Quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice. Just Looks to pass. And they try to set up a screen. Bounces off the would-be tackler. The five. He's all the way home. Touchdown. They made that touchdown look really, really easy. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He throws right. Find his receiver. Brandon. Well shot. He'll give it off here. And he's taken down at the 43. Goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Brought down in the open field. Not up in the eye. Weber still has it. Looks. Let's it go. He can't miss. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Last time they came away with only a field goal. Tried to do. Sheds one tackler. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. What a run. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This kid is a coach's dream. He runs hard and always finds his way into the end zone. Little handoff. He's hit and got away. He's got the two. So with just over four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Iowa 24, Minnesota 21. Formation, back to pass, throw short, caught. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. So the offensive drops back on first down. Number 12 lets it fly. And he brings it down. Simmons brings him down at the 45. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback. Looks to pass. Throws it to the outside. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they... Drops back on first down. Looking. Weber rifles it. Number 43 for the interception. That's not what you want to do when you're losing this late in the game. Nope. At this late in the fourth quarter, my friends, that was probably their last chance. This one's in the books, folks. Kirk, what do you think of this one? Well, more than anything else, I'm disappointed for the players. Minnesota has got to be heartbroken to lose such a close game as this one was. They came in as huge underdogs, but they played their hearts out and almost came away with a big upset. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Iowa 24, Minnesota 21. This is Brad Nessler with Kirk Kirk Street and Lee Corso. We thank you for playing, and we'll see you next time.